What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the top of the map playing as Hades. His name is AC the Great. His opponent today in the red color playing as Ra. His name is Moor. The map is Tundra. Now back on the normal map set, we had a whole lot of competitive Mega Randoms, so I thought, you know what, let's go back and check out what's happening on the Vubly 1v1 rated ladder. And what do we see? We see more champion, more, more, more everything. He is more with four underscores today. Uh, and he's playing Ra instead of Atlantean. He is venturing outside of his comfort zone, going in with one of the more terrifying gods in this game. Ra is... Uh, arguably one of the strongest if not the strongest god in the game definitely uh a very very high pick on every single person's tier list however we don't see this god being played a whole lot by a lot of the current top players a lot of the current top players are playing gods like poseidon zeus uh Uranus, odin those are kind of the the kind of top gods we see a lot or maybe even Gaia a little bit now as well. We don't see a whole lot of Ra. Like, Ra is a Kimo god. Ra is a Joe god. And these players, they're not really playing a whole lot. So, it's interesting to see. Yep, it is actually a good god. It's just fallen out of favor a little bit based on, I don't know, maybe play style. It's not as fun. Could be those kind of things. Uh, but just not, not many top players playing this god. So, we'll see how it's all going to go. We do see the flagstone of Buhan being grabbed by... Uh, more over here. Uh, more going for very, very early wood. Now, this is a pretty old build order, and it uh, it's kind of a one town center build order from memory. If you go for this early wood here, what it allows you to do is it allows you to hunt your early hunt, get husbandry, go to your herdables, get get pickaxe, get uh. Should do for as soon as you hit the next age, farm, and then rain for the uh, rain for the heroic age. If you're going for a second town center in this build, you're going to find yourself uh, a little bit behind someone who's doing something a little bit different, such as uh, the two villages to gold straight away, food straight away into a second town center, uh, a little bit stronger. Uh, so we'll see how how it's all going to go. Now, AC the Great, on the other hand, looking like he's doing something fairly standard here. Two villages Great on hit. gold, two villages on wood, temple coming down. Very, very standard here. Now, the thing is, it's kind of hard to know what your opponent's doing this early in the game, but like, if you have a good idea of what your opponent's going to do, and you can be going for incredibly strong metagaming strategies, such as uh, fast three town center builds, and... You don't know what Moore's doing unless you scout him out. But if you come over here and check this out, you see the temple going down, you see the monuments of the villages going down. You've got the Pharaoh on gold here, uh, which is a little bit surprising uh, by Moore. Definitely, normally you would see the, the Pharaoh on the food situation here. So we do see uh, some cheeky micro tricks there by Moore. If you garrison the villager into the tower, you can then change the automatically change the aggression, uh, the aggressive unit. The unit which the aggressive animal is targeting, you can change that unit. Uh, by garrisoning. So nice play there to get that Auric right underneath his granary. As Now Morse is going to have to move over there. So we check out what upgrades he's decided to go with early on. He has his pickaxe straight away. So pickaxe this early, like I, I'm, I'm being nitpicky here just because Moore is kind of new to this god. I'm going to explain why I think this. The, the, the research, the technologies you want to go for first is actually husbandry first, then pickaxe. Pickaxe first doesn't make a whole lot of sense because you have less units on the gold. Pickaxe uh, husbandry is going to fatten your goats up and allow your villagers to get a little bit more food income than they otherwise would have. Whereas getting pickaxe a little bit later, it's not going to slow you down at all. It's not, it's not speeding you up, I should say. So just that ordering thing, just a little bit of ordering differential uh, can make a, a lot of the difference. As you see, the wall's coming up, going to finish up over here and more's going to be advancing for a 415. So this is... This is the one town center fast heroic build that um, that has been somewhat popular. So we'll see if Moore's going for a two town center or not. I imagine Chiron Ajax going to be coming out very early here, pressuring this town center, trying to prevent that from happening. The Minotaur is through. The village is going to come in, grab this back town center first. A little bit surprised to see that. Uh, it could be playing around the fact that Moore's not advanced just yet. And he's saying, okay, well, maybe fast second town center. If I go for the forward town center, it's a little bit risky. 
Uh, but if I was if I was in AC's position here, I would 100% grab this town center first. It's got uh, a nice elk here. Not that that's going to matter that much, but uh, grab this location, put the sentinels down here, and feel strong about that decision there. As more's going through to die, he's got himself 400 gold in the bank. He's got himself six villages on on uh, on gold as well. He's got his pharaoh empowering the gold priest on the on the food, finishing up that auroch as well. And it looks like a second town center. It's going to be coming in with a ton of villagers here, uh, as well as the f the wood is already gathered for Shadoof straight away. And with ten villagers coming in, one or one hero, uh, these these units here just not going to be quite enough. So if the Minotaur gets onto the town center, you can actually deny this, and that's exactly what's going to happen here. The Chiron comes in, hits the priest immediately, and the Minotaur just has to move through and actually just target down the town center, and he can deny the town center quite a, quite a bit. But we see the uh, Pharaoh shifting in here in order to get the town center up. And the villager will get taken out. So we trade Shifting Sands for the town center to get up. That, that's an interesting play. We see one villager down, one priest down. Uh, I think AC is going to be happy about that. He's got to be happy about that. And more is going to be behind the eight ball right now. Armory coming down. Villagers retreating back. We see the Wadget getting sniped down there. Nice pick there by AC. AC's got himself his own second town center up. But he has forgot to start building villages on this one. We'll see how long that's going to take before... He starts getting those villages up. So even though his town center was up potentially before Moors, uh, it's not getting getting him any advantage. There we go. Six minutes, 20 seconds in the game. He's getting that villager coming out. Very, very delayed there. Uh, so that's an unfortunate uh, part of the game. And now we see the mining camp here. Tons yeah. of villagers coming over here for more. You do need to have eight to ten villagers gathering food in order to support two town centers. So we see this uh, tower is actually able to get targeted here, but the, the pharaoh are going to come over and uh, snipe this minotaur away and say, get away from my tower, you, you, you mongrel! As the game continues along. Let's check out these economic upgrades for AC. He doesn't have any upgrades really. He's got himself just this this uh, this relic here, the system of bars to help out his, his villager production. 45 food per villager. Uh, but no other upgrades, just hunting dogs and he's just going to be motoring ahead. This is pretty modern age mythology kind of theory in a way. Don't get upgrades, just build units. We might be seeing AC going for a fast heroic here, which is a very, very weird idea but it might be a good one especially if he decides to go mythic behind this so we'll see if that's going to work as now moore's got in, uh, getting himself rain he's got himself the farms out he's got himself 11 farms over here and four farms here and how many farms over here 11 farms so all right 10 farms on that town center four so only 14 farms with a delayed with the delayed rain going for 15 farms you could definitely go up to 20 farms here if you want to go super uh, economically greedy and advance as late as more is advancing here uh, and then have a huge amount of food surplus and then go into trade to get the gold in order to find your second gold mine um, as an idea. But Hathor's coming through. This uh, this town center, this temple here is getting repaired up a little bit. So the priest pops out to try and take down this minotaur and slow this, uh, this pressure down. As we see the, uh, the minotaur does get taken out going to get pushed back here and ac is already on the way through aphrodite so he has the advantage where that's concerned throwing down an archery range and a stable here i'm gonna say it again i'm gonna say i've said it once i've said it a couple times actually i'm gonna say it again don't build arches against egyptian i don't care that you hate is you don't need to build arches against egyptian there is no reason to what do you build arches for to deal with infantry units which infantry units are a problem for uh, which infantry units are a problem for Greek uh, that Egyptian could make spearmen, axemen. Those are the only two. If your opponent makes axemen, you actually don't want archers. You want uh, hippocon. If your opponent makes spearmen, you can be making hoplites, and the hoplites are stronger than spearmen. So you're just kind of there's a, it's a, com a completely useless unit in my opinion to be making those. Uh, to be making those arches in this matchup. Better to just make tons more farms uh, and and sort yourself out that way than than making arches here, uh, in my opinion. I know other people have got different opinions, but it is what it is. So we see the Migdol coming up on this position to try and get this large gold mine here. AC is going to have access to a, a pretty brutal push here uh, with 
with his military coming through, he's at 74 of 80 population. He's got himself access to the curse here, uh, but he's whoop, whoop, he's missed the rock. Definitely want to send the Chiron after that. This is one of the advantages of playing Hades in this matchup is being able to deal with this rock with the Chiron incredibly easily with 5.5 speed. You see the villagers retreating back. The Chiron still not going back here, so he's going straight after this location. The units are of AC are probably going to get taken... Oh, sorry, of, of more are going to get taken down very fast. Hits a bunch of those units, hits the villagers as well. The Nemean Lion pushing in, going to try and push this gold mine uh, away from him as more has got no gold really income anymore. So you do see a big locust getting dropped. No villagers going down. One villager going down. Maybe a villager on the top going down. These villagers over here are kind of safe getting away from this position so you see the villagers jumping onto that those hurdles here we see the chiron getting taken down as this town center sorry migdal stronghold is under pressure but right now we've got the villagers sneaking over onto this gold mine and with ac not having underworld here he's not going to be able to come over and take out this gold mine as well and get an easy win here this game gonna continue nicely here so you see the villagers repairing this one back up as best as they can. More villagers going down as the units are slowly coming out here. But the Nemean Lion is the big scary thing here. If, you, if you're AC here, this Nemean Lion has got a special ability. You see these villagers cast or target the Nemean Lion onto the villagers. And then the splash damage is going to force all the villagers to take damage and potentially get taken off of the Migdol. Other thing you can do is cast Restoration here if he wants to, to get that Nemean Lion back up to full HP and the rest of his units alive here as we we will be seeing the Migdal Stronghold getting taken down. More retreating back into his base. 65, uh, 65 of 90 population. Dropping this Migdal Stronghold on this position now. As AC is going to have to come around with the rest of his units onto this position as well to take it down. We see a priest coming through here to get this Migdal up. And Mora is under tons of pressure now in this game. As where is AC going to be going right now? If I was AC right now after doing all that damage... I would cut production, chuck a market down, go Artemis, Earthquake over here, and take this game uh, for myself with a bunch of Chimera to boot. You got yourself uh, Restoration as well to make a push onto this location if you so choose. Uh, but it could be, it would be a, a really, really easy continuation here for AC, especially he's got all of these hurdles in his base as well. Thanks so much for the Prime Waldo clan. Welcome, welcome. You see the Ajax coming over here, trying to deal with that Patsukos, but nice micro from more. Going to continue to to do uh, good things where that's concerned. Right now, AC has got himself 30 villages on favor. He's got no villages on the temple, though, so I'm not sure exactly what his plan is with that many villages on gold. Uh, but obviously, you could just trade the, the gold for food and, and hit Mythic Age. Uh, so we'll see how it's all going to go. We've got the Pharaoh swinging around right now. Maul's going to be looking for some raids with this rock. Still, the Chiron, the Chiron, you basically just need to have an eye on where the rock is. If you have an eye on where the rock is, Chiron goes to the rock, deal with the rock, happy days. We do still have this uh, this restoration come through for AC, so he's going to keep trying to deal with this one. We see that the Nemean Lion's been dealt with, which is a big powerhouse unit here, as we see the uh, Chiron going straight after the rock, but the Migdal Stronghold taking this one down, as well as the uh, Camel and everything else, as we see the Chiron not able to be kept alive uh, anymore to deal with that rock. The rock's going to be retreating away. Moore's retreating back as well. As it seems like Moore has managed to keep himself alive and well in this game. AC is at 117 population. Moore is at 107 population here as the Hippocon trying to deal with this as best as they can. But AC now retreating away. And Moore dealing with this nicely here as well. Uh, as now the tables have turned. Moore has defended against that Heroic Age push uh, decently enough. And... He's got units out. It was 120 population to Moore's 119 population. Another house coming down as the rest of these units need to pile out. And here's the thing. For Greek, you can't really fight the Heroic Age army of... Uh, you can't really fight the Heroic... Oh! That was so close to, all, to, to being an absolute nightmare for Moore. Anyways, back to the... Uh, <laughs> back to the... The real story, you can't really fight a, a Heroic Age Greek, uh, Egyptian army with Greek army until you have heavy upgrades. Uh, and we haven't actually seen more going head head on just yet, but he could be basically just saying, yeah, let's take this fight and, and, uh, and live the dream here because these units here just aren't that strong. 
Uh, but Moore is looking for raids at this point, and there are villages around the map that he could raid. They're actually all over the map here. Here we've got a couple of units on this position here. Village is starting to get the farms. You see the market coming down here as the units pushing in. Finally, for AC making that uh, that decision, he definitely could have been uh, Mythic Age or at least advancing. By right now, definitely a 15-minute Mythic Age here would have been really, really strong. So now we've got the Chiron swinging in here, going to go after the Patukos in the back here. Uh, and these units need to return back and defend at this point. Got this one lone cavalry pushing villagers away. Hate to see that. As the units are crashing in here, we will see the Patsukos going to be getting sniped down. The, the Hippocon trying to take down that fair and ice marker there from Moore to Garrison into his Migdol. Moore's now 130 of 130 population, and surely we're seeing Artemis. And yes, we are Artemis on the way, but Moore has just picked off so many units of ACs that... It's almost as if, like, while Moore has lost a lot of economy in here, AZ's lost a lot of economy in units lost. So it kind of equals itself out in a big way, and Moore is just going to continue to get further and further ahead right now. So this is all about how good this Earthquake and these Chimera are going to be. But right now, AC's not got villages on favor. He's only got 17 villages on gold now. The, the, uh, the Kamori sniping down straggler units as they're getting trained being very, very strong. Now we've got villagers coming up onto this gold mine. The uh, straggler units here from AC will deal with these and more notices is it gonna pull back, say, okay, not, not gonna happen at this point. We've got some uh, stables coming down now for AC as he's retreating back and more is pushing in saying, away with you, sir. More gonna be retreating back home. Units coming forward. So now we've got the uh, now we've got the units pulling back here for AC as things are starting to look a little bit scary here. As this, uh, as the question is really going to be how far away is more from hitting the Mythic Age? Because once more hits the Mythic Age, you'll have mummies and you'll have, uh, and you'll have Son of Osiris and it'll be all good here. Uh, but right now, an Earthquake like on this position, taking these gold mines away, keeping an eye on this gold mine over here. This could be very, very difficult for him. We see the Chiron getting taken down here. This is some pretty poor micro from AC as he loses that one, but he does decide to cast the Earthquake in the main town center of Moor. Takes down all these buildings. That's a lot of houses that need rebuilding. Absolutely huge. You see the units continuing to push in. Uh, Migdol coming up on this town center over here as well. As the unit's going to be retreating back to try and take this one down. Uh, still no attempt at making more Chimera. The Chimera does come through. We'll be able to take down the Patsukos fairly fast here. He's going to uh, nom 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 down on that one. Town Center going back up in the main base uh, for more. As we see the Migdol getting dealt with. The Villagers helping out in this one as well. That uh, Migdol's not going to be able to stay up for all too long. The Pharaoh uh, has been picked off as well. As these Villagers pop out. Nice micro from more trying to keep this one alive for as long as he possibly can. As the reinforcements coming through to defend this location. As more definitely wants this town for himself here. See more units coming out of this location. Our village is kind of idle at this point here. Straggler units getting dealt with nicely by ACs. He's got a couple of units there to deal with that one, but it looks like AC is running out of steam just a little bit here. 120 of 130 population. He's getting units coming through here. He doesn't have enough over on this position right now. Where are all of his units? We see the Chimera's dealt with that, but Sukos, but hasn't really done all too much in this game. As we do see Perseus in here, but Perseus is, uh, unlike Polyphemus or Bellerophon, is relatively useless. I mean, he's got 9 damage, he's got 40% pierce armor, he's got 468, uh, 468 HP. He's not, a, he's not a happy camper at all. This Chimera getting some good damage done. But needs to start actually attacking here. Some more units coming through. AC still not able to get himself that uh, crucial upgrade. Heavy Hippocon. As units getting pushed back. We see Ajax coming through. As Moore is desperately trying to hold on in this position. Continuously sending like lone cavalry around to snipe villages. Is so smart and so strong by Moore. As AC hasn't thrown up any walls here. So 
Maul's getting a full advantage out of the, the lack of defensive structures that AC has built in this game. As we see villagers sneaking their way over onto this town center. AC would have seen that, though. As the Toxodes is going to pass straight by here. You see this town center attempting to come up for AC. Obviously, taking this one and throwing down the Sentinels could be a, a nice way to hold on to this position. The Chimera just about to fall as well with 10 HP. Now we see that uh, Perseus is going to start getting taken down. Uh, as this town center here... Nope. Just two villagers going to try and build it up nice and slow. Fair enough. Karan over here being a little bit of a distraction as well. Town Center has been prevented right now as the villagers have been taken down. Perseus will end up going down there. So no more help from him. 400 resources down the drain that definitely could have gone somewhere a little bit better, especially considering the lack of tech which AC has got here. As the Middle Stronghold does fall, and that might force more away, but more is probably doing fine here. 127 population. Town center over here has been denied for the time uh, for the time being here. As let's check out Moore's economic upgrades here. He's got himself irrigation, he's got himself a shadoof, he's got himself husbandry. The units are getting pushed back. We we'll see the villagers getting taken out over here as well as the chariot archers. Coming in onto this position, take out these units as best as they possibly can. The Hippocon swinging here to deal with these bad boys. And we'll take them out. And we'll see what Moore's got for himself. He's going to go for this town center. Still kind of content with staying in the heroic age. Now, the thing is that if you're in the heroic age as Egyptian, you have no answer to Chimera. So it makes no sense to not build them at this point. Um... And the fact that you're seeing your opponent continuously trying to get a town center means they aren't going to the next age most of the time here. I mean, that's the kind of thing, thought process that I would have. So, Hasty's also got a thousand gold in the bank. Imagine two Chimera in this fight would be absolutely crazy strong. As a town center over here going to get given back or taken out. Moore's got plenty of resources in the bank, so he will be able to click up to the next age very, very soon. And AC is being pushed back yet again as he's got nothing left. And we will be seeing Osiris as the god of choice here. AC is going to get this town center thrown up as well. As there's the town center up for more. Three town centers, Mythic Age on the way. AC on the back foot. Uh, all is not lost here. Greek does have a decent time in the late game, but AC isn't set up at all. Let's check out the economic upgrades for AC to see where he's going to go. He's only got hand axe, only got pickaxe, only got plow. He needs to get at least bow saw and irrigation here to have uh, a relatively decent economy. So we'll see if he's going to be able to get those in the near future or not. The town center will probably come up here. We see some Toxodes is going to come onto this position as a Mikdol stronghold getting dropped on this gold mine here. Does he not have husbandry? Well, yeah, definitely his husbandry as well. Uh, some players just aren't aware that husbandry gives a a, a a boost to your farming gather rate by about. It's not. It's not. It's a hidden boost because the villagers walk so much, and it's effectively like a seven percent boost or something, effective boost or something. So it's well worth it to grab that one on the farms. So you see the hippocons coming through here, going to try and hit those villagers. These villagers do have skin of the rhino, so they take a long time to get picked off. There's a chariot archers running around here trying to snipe villagers. Throw a volley of arrows over there. Don't manage to pick off a villager or anything, but it's all good. Now I see some siege works getting dropped on the front here. These only cost 22 gold when you have a uh, sun-dried mud brick. So spamming them out is completely fine. They just take a while to build is all. Uh, as more walls coming up now. We see barracks coming down for more as he's going to start expanding his position here taking the corners of the map definitely want to throw a market down in the corner we see son of osiris has come through now the question is going to be how well can more control his son of osiris we've seen son of osiris die very fast many times this is the most important unit uh, arguably in the game like you have a nidhogg you have the son of osiris and maybe bellerophon might be the three most important units in the game to control uh, so we'll see how Moore's going to go with his son of Osiris here. Uh, as we see him pushing forward, what he can do. 
AC going to be swinging around with his army looking for, for something to take out. The Hippocon moving into the main base. We've got the double barracks getting thrown up for more as the Hippocon are looking for something to attack. We'll be taking down a couple of these stray villages on the farms. This is a, not a bad idea to do if you've got Pierce armor, is to go in and just raid farms in the kind of middle to late game. But now we see Sentinels getting thrown up here by it. AC as the catapults moving in onto this position. I'm sure that Moore's going to be working on all the upgrades he can get. He's only got 16 villages on food right now, making Spearman. He needs a lot more food income to support Spearman as we'll see how it's all going to go. If those Spearman get taken down, things are going to be a little bit uh, a little bit poor here as the catapult hanging out in the back looking to take down some houses. We've got the catapult here with engineered engineered catapult as well. So this town center is under threat quite badly here as Morgan now start thinking about throwing some towers down on this position as well as AC is still sitting at only heavy units Go. here and his army composition just doesn't beat Moore's army composition. Spearman chariots will always beat Hippocon uh, Toxodes especially with a son of Osiris uh, to boot. Oh, 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 a classic. Oh, no, nope. speed walking the son of Osiris back to, uh, back to safety here. As we see, the Toxoid is going to immediately target this bad boy down. Uh, now, the right way to control your Son of Osiris is to have him in this area here. And you can be targeting down the, the, the Hoplites or the Hippocon and let the Chain Lightning deal with everything else. As we do see the Son of Osiris getting under half HP in the space in a very short space of time here. But now we've got Mercenary Cavalry coming in here to tank up those Toxodes in the back. The Chariot Arch is getting dealt with as well, but not quite fast enough. We've got the Town Center getting taken down here as the Town Center tries to get rebuilt straight away, but it will not go back up. Up. As more is at 160 population, AC is at 105 of 130 population. AC in this moment does end up tapping out as more plays this one just a little bit too well for AC. AC had every opportunity here to take this win. So things that things to learn from this one is I actually think this looks so sick. Look at this lightning bolt just going douche, douche, douche around the farms. That looks absolutely sick. Anyways, uh, the things that AC could have done here is after he took down this Migdol, ask yourself where to next. Can I kill this Migdol or not? Answer, ah, maybe not. You have to go a long way around the base to get over here. The Migdol will be up. The units will be coming out. So what happens next? Okay, Mythic Age is an option or tech. And it was, it's essentially tech is the option. So either you go for heavy units or you go for Mythic Age and you go for Climb Out. And he went for neither of those. He went for units, uh, which definitely didn't work here in this game. Moore's able to defend. He gets himself the skin of the rhino. He gets himself the units. And then he allows more back into the game by sacrificing those units, which just didn't do all too much. Uh, and that's and that's how Moore gets back into the game. And then Moore converts nicely. Uh, and it's all good now. A well-played game by Moore. Definitely needs to uh, clean up the early game of Ra a little bit. Watch some Ra recorded games and, and try and work out the best way to play uh, this matchup. Uh, and he'll get a very, he'll have a very, very fun time with Ra, I'm sure. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next game.